Hello everyone, welcome to Learn and Development Channel. If you are looking to take your email automation to the next level, you are in the right place. Today I'll show you how to perform an advanced mail merge in Outlook using Microsoft Power Automate. This will allow you to send personalized emails efficiently without using um, traditional mail merge in Word. So let's get started. And this process works with uh, Outlook Web. So now let's move to App Launcher to launch excel to prepare our, um, our data source so then i'll click on blank workbook so now let's key in the our data our contact list that we want to use for the mail match so i already have it so i'll just um, paste mine i already have it or then i will name this file as mail mail match mail match contact then i'll name this oh i'll leave this leave this sheet then let's upload the attachments that i want to attach a file so i'll just go to um onedrive then to upload the file that i want to attach to the mail then so now we are done with the contact list then also we are done with the um, uploading the file to OneDrive so now click on the app launcher then um, look for power automate then click on it then if you don't see it here click on the more apps then you will click on power automate so I have mine here I'll click on it so now with power automate you just use a flow you just create our flow so click on create flow that's create here click on create then this is our flows so now choose instant cloud flow then with this we have we have to key in a name for this um flow so i'll name it um mirror merge then choose the trigger that's manually um, trigger a flow then click on create so now let's add an action a new action let's insert a new action so you click on the plus sign here then with this um let's locate to our excel file our excel file so now um search for excel excel online then i'll scroll to excel online um okay so now this is excel online business then you have um excel online onedrive so if you're using the free um uh, if you are using a free version that is here you choose excel online so if you are using um 365 then you choose um excel online business so if then let's look it to list rules present in a table so if you don't see it here you can click on here see more then choose list row choose list rules present in the table So now by default our um our our contact list is saved on one drive so now let's look to one drive so this is the location so let's look to where our file is so one drive for business then the document library that's one drive i'll click here one drive then the file name that we we created so um i'll click here 
then I'll locate to the file. So the file that you create the contacts, the name of the contact list that's a uh, mail mage contact. Then the table, the name of the table is sheet one. That's table one. Sorry. Then um, click here to collapse it. Then let's locate to we want to attach a file to the mail. So now let's go to where we uploaded um, the the file that's on the OneDrive. So I'll click here to insert. Then I'll search for OneDrive. I'll search for OneDrive. So if you are using a free version, that's OneDrive here. That if you are using 365, there is one drive for business. So now let's get the file. So now click here if you don't see um, get file. Um, that's um, get file content. If you don't see get file content, click on see more. Then you can see it here. Get file content. So you want to locate to where the 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 file is. So now click here to open folder. Then this is the, the root. Then locate to where you saved um, where you saved the file. So that's um, this is my file that I have uploaded. Then that's all. Then click here to collapse it. Then click here. So now let's send the email. So I'll click on here, then search for Outlook. So Outlook.com is the free version. Then I am um, Office 365 Outlook. That's if you are using you have um, 365 accounts. So then choose um, send an email v2. Send an email v2. So I'll click here. So now we are here to compose um, the the message. So now this is to subject body and the rest. So now click here to switch to the basic mode. Click here to switch the basic mode. So this is the basic mode. Then when I click here, then you can see the dynamic picker, dynamic picker. So when you click here, this is. Um, we are you are opening an editor that's if you want to um, code or maybe put some lines in there then you can just put in that then also for here to when you click here that's for you to select um, the fields so now um, the fields that's for email address to email address then the subjects you can type your own subjects or how you Want to draft your then i already have my um drafted message so i'll just copy it and just paste it then here i'll just um i already have it here so i'll just be taking off mine off that i'll just be fixing in the fields in there so first name So I'm done with um, composing the message. So now I've, I've inserted all the fields in there. Then 
um, that is advanced parameters so i'll just click here to show all the the parameters then um within our field we have um cc yeah we have cc there so i'll just insect the cc so don't forget to click here to switch to basic mode then click here to select the the dynamic picker so i'll just click here that's when you click on see more then you could you select your cc then with the attachments um i'll click here that's add new item then let's give a name um important um, important then click here that's the dynamic picker then let's choose here that's file content so um the rest of the the uh, the features are there so you can select any one that you want then click here to collapse then make sure you save you click here to save the um the flow then let's go back to run the flow so now click on the run click on run so most of it um, when you begin this process it will cause you for you to sign in I have already signed my in already so then um, click on um, continue here click on here to continue then click on run flow done so you may see that um, your messages will be will be sent so when you locate to your outlook account sent you can see that all these messages as we are to send based on the um the fields that we insected so as you can see there you can see all the fields that we insected okay so i'll leave you here so that you you practice on your own um goodbye